Two love. All right. Here we go. All right, Colin, you won a ring today for the first time ever in your PVB career. Um, it was impressive to watch. You won the wing. Um, your first time back in a while. So, you know, how did it feel coming off two-year layoff? Uh, it felt good. It felt good to be out there again. Um, you know, get get the feet wet again. It was uh, definitely going in this time. It was a different mentality, a different approach. Um, it was just good. Get out, good to get some rallies going with the boys and uh, secure the win, come out with the ring. Yeah. So, always special when that happens, you know? Yeah. And, um, you know, after your first, your debut season in 2K22, there was a lot of doubters, a lot of haters, a lot of people wrote you off. And, um, you know, people thought they would never see you in PVB again. And you came back today and got a ring. So, like, how did that feel? Uh, you know, it always feels great. It feels great, you know, to silence the doubt that people have. You know, obviously, uh, I came in today, I was picked last. Um... But you never really think about that. You just kind of go out there and play. Uh, you have to just have that mentality. And, um, I, you know, as much as I like to say that I think about the doubt, I just uh, – I can't I can't say I was. I was just going in there. Uh, I knew what I was capable of. I knew what the team was capable of. And uh, I just want to give it my all every every rep, every um, set. So, yeah. Good. That's the right mentality. Mm-hmm. The way you played today showed that. You played like a man on a mission. And, you know, I saw you playing wing for the first time. So how was that adjustment from uh, playing mid to playing wing? Um, honestly, it feels like a long time coming. To be honest, I uh, I grew up in the mid position, and I thought that's where I was most comfortable. But uh, I think from time being away from the game and, and playing normal volleyball in the wing position uh, – it felt like that was my home, and I felt like I could set better from from the side. Um, and it just felt like the most comfortable for me. Um, I think letting Soy take the mid, tackle the mid position, and and he sets up the passes for me, and then to you, uh, it just felt like uh, the right move, and it really worked out in the end. So, yeah, you had a tough matchup too against Roy. You know, two time PVB champion. Well, the most yeah. you know decorated veteran in the game, and you kind of sh- put him in a box. So, like, how did how did you do that? Yeah, I mean, I basically, you know, I licked the envelope pretty much. I mean, he was he couldn't move all day. I I, I think you know these people on the wing, the people I was in front of, uh, they all kind of thought that I wasn't gonna be able to handle it. Um, I think that you know when you have when you sit across from a when you stand across from a vet like Roy. Uh, you just got to go in thinking that, you know, you're still capable of uh, going toe-to-toe with him. Um, I never felt intimidated by him. You know, great respect to Roy. He's been around for, you know, however long. You know, I can't really say too much. I don't want to be too cocky or anything. You know, he's he's a great performer. Um, he makes plays. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, so all respect to him. I uh, just came out better player i guess at the end of the day um but still roy is a great player and um look forward to our next matchup Mm -hmm. yeah it seemed like your ball control got so much better um your passing your setting was great two years off how you know how did you come back and do that uh just practice 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 you know um i kind of knew that i was capable of doing that i just um I think I was overthinking it in the years past, and I tried too much. I tried to maybe set the ball uh, in a in a way that wasn't comfortable for me, or I, I don't know. I just thought maybe I had to play a certain way. But I think once I relaxed and just let myself um, just naturally play the game, uh, I think everything came into place. Um, so yeah, I just think uh, practice and 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 not being in my head too much uh, definitely helped for sure. Yeah, last time you played, you know, seeing you out there, you were hype, you were splatting mm. the water, you were screaming. But today it was like you let that out a little bit, but you, you know, you tamed the beast. Like, how, do you think that played a role in the win today? Was it, you know, being more tame, being more, 
be more reserved? Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure, for sure. I think, um, listen, you know, it's a, it's a, it's an emotional game. Um, you want to go out there and win. You just, uh, it's really, it just, I have a lot of passion for it, for it and, and the teammates that I'm around and I want to win for them. Um, you know, when I'm frustrated, it's not because of the team's fault. It's only because of myself. I know I can do better in that moment if I, uh, whiff, um, on a ball that's coming straight at me or anything like that, or on a set. Uh, I just, I'm very passionate about it, but I think the games today, I just try to stay composed and, and uh, not think about it too much and just keep level headed and know that we were always in it regardless of the score. Um, even if we were down five at one point, uh, I knew that we always could come back and, and we ended up doing that and secured all wins today. So. And I know, uh... Our team captain was, you know, Ryan Sudam, another PVB Titan. Um, mm -hmm. When you get the call from Soy, like, what's going through your head? Um, a winning culture, pretty much. I mean, Soy, um, you know, when you play for Soy, all that kid wants to do is win. And um, he understands what it means to win. I think when he called me up, I knew that, it was going to be a special uh, time today. I think we have a lot of chemistry. Um, and then also when I knew I was going to play with you, ZB, I, I felt like um, everything was just going to be perfect. It was exactly who I wanted to be with. Um, and I love playing for Soy. He knows that I'm going to give him my all. And, and I told him that when he, when he told me that I was selected by him, I said, nobody's going to have the same energy that we have today. I'm going to bring all that energy. And they made a mistake not picking me. So, um, yeah, he's, it's it's honestly, you know, I played – I feel like I played pretty good today, but all my credit goes to Soy because without him, I don't think our team would have been what it was. So, And what what was your – the keys to your team pitching the shutout? Just running through everyone, locking Roy up, putting him in a box, shipping him through the mail? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, definitely shipping him through the mail, definitely put him in a box. But I think just, uh, you know, we knew that, you know, we had ZBU. We knew that if we set you the ball, you were going to make things happen and just basically giving you the ball, feeding you, uh, feeding the big man. So um, I think just, you know, working on our errors, not making a lot of errors, uh, I think that's what – basically our keys to success for what were just feeding uh you and then the errors um but yeah just uh knowing that we're always in it and uh just keeping the effort keeping the effort don't don't whiff on any balls don't let them go past your face hit everything uh, and yeah make stuff happen make plays pretty yeah. much yeah you looked like an assassin out there today and you know what do we Appreciate see next time you. colin budnick and pvb like what What's next for him? Um, yeah, I mean, this is only the start, you know. I um, I can't wait to get back out there and show what I'm capable of, you know. Um, even if I'm picked last again, I don't care. Uh, I really don't. Um, I just want to go out there and play for whoever wants me. Um, but you can expect uh, someone who's going to set his teammates up for success and he's going to give his all. Um but this is only a start, and we got a long ways to go. So, all right, Colin. Well, it was an honor interviewing you, sir. And um, I can't wait to see you back out there. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. See you, man.